Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can create custom slides like that with cool image placeholders. You will have nothing else to do, just select an image, place it here, and the placeholder will do everything for you. You can also create new slides with the same layout without any problems. So everything would be ready and prepared for you to work and create several slides like that. People wonder, how can you make those image placeholders in PowerPoint? But it's very, very simple. I'll tell you how to do this with Slide Master. As you see this slide, as I right click, I have layouts here. And these are the basic PowerPoint layouts. You can choose any of those layouts and use their options. But you can also create those layouts. And this is very simple. If I'd like to do a custom slide, for example, I know that I'll repeat this slide several times, so I'll design it and then I'll have the layout prepared. I'll go to view and open up Slide Master. Now you are inside the Slide Master of PowerPoint and you see this is all the layout that I had previously as I click right click and layout and I want a new layout. So I go here, I right click and I select insert layout or you can do the same here, insert layout. Since we are on the Slide Master, I'll insert a placeholder and I know that I want a picture placeholder. I click on the picture and I make a big image placeholder across the entire slide. You see, an image placeholder has appeared, but I would like to cut out this portion. How to do this? It's really, really simple. You can customize this object as you want. I can, for example, click on it, go to edit shape, change shape and change its looks like for example a triangle and now this would be a triangle but i'll go ctrl z because i want a custom design that's why i go to insert shapes and i make a shape here a shape will be big as that okay i'll work with this i'll align it in the middle so it has equal spaces here and here i'll place it a bit inside this picture now watch how you can do the magic click on the picture Click shift and this object, so both are selected. This was clicked first, this is clicked second. Go to the merge shapes option and subtract this option. Now I have a completely custom place for my image. You can also do this by going to edit shape and edit points, but it's way harder because you would have to right click, add points, work with those points and make this somewhat equal or perfect. Okay, I also know that I want to insert some title text here. I'll control A and press title here. Let me get rid of some items like, like the bullet points. Maybe I want the font to be open sans. I want it to be bold and a bit bigger, like 36 points. Okay, this would be the title. Now I copy this placeholder, nothing simpler than that. I make this bigger, this will be the text. And of course I will adjust the text. Not bold, smaller, normal text and voila, this would be my slide design prepared. If you want some additional elements, like since this is a rectangular uh, kind of slide, so I'll maybe add some little tweaks just to make it look a tiny bit better. I'll add two objects here, nothing fancy, just two objects, no fill, a gray outline, maybe the outline a bit thicker, and this is just to create some branding. Maybe I'll place this here. Then I'll once again click on this picture and maybe I make the same for the picture. Shape outline. I'll make the outline four points and I'll close my master view. Now, once I create something in PowerPoint, I have new slides, I'll create new slides, I'll do something. I just have to right click, layout and select this custom layout. I just need to select my image. Let's say this is the image I want to have, my PC notebook image. Boom, the placeholder automatically snaps it use. If you want to insert something different, just delete it, add another photo. I'll go with this. This will be my title. I had some lorem ipsum text here prepared. So let me take the text. Boom, the text is here. It's automatically open sans because I selected it. I will justify it cool slide title. You can of course adjust those boxes. You can change the text color to make it more suitable to the slide. Maybe something darker. And voila, there you have it. You make some little, little tweaks like adjusting the text. I'll go to home. I'll go to paragraph and maybe make the spacing 
1.5 so it looks better and look how cool is this slide and I will create a new slide and I have already this design again here. Everything is ready. I don't need to click anything. Everything is prepared to use. And if you want to get rid of this, right click, layout, change the layout and you are back on track with your usual slides. This is how you can add placeholders, work with them and create a beautiful slide in a matter of minutes for your entire presentation. Thanks for listening to this tutorial. I know this was a lot of information, but it's really cool to create those slides with the Slide Master.